Nearly half of new coronavirus infections nationwide are in just five states. A situation that is putting pressure on the federal government to consider changing how it distributes vaccines by sending more doses to hotspots. New York, Michigan, Florida, Pennsylvania and New Jersey together reported 44% of the nation's new COVID-19 infections, or nearly 197,500 new cases, in the latest available seven-day period, according to state health agency data compiled by Johns Hopkins University. The heavy concentration of new cases in states that account for 22% of the U.S. population has prompted some experts and elected officials to call for President Joe Biden's administration to ship additional vaccine doses to those places. So far, the White House has shown no signs of shifting from its policy of dividing vaccine doses among states based on population. The European Union's drug regulator says it has found a possible link between the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine and a rare clotting disorder but said that the benefits of the shot still outweigh risks. In a statement released Wednesday, the European Medicines Agency placed no new restrictions on using the vaccine in people 18 and over. A third of COVID patients in a study of more than 230,000 mostly Americans were diagnosed with a brain or psychiatric disorder within six months, scientists reported in the journal Lancet. Among patients who required treatment in ICU units, more than 4 in 10 suffered disorders, the researchers found. California plans to drop its tier system and open up the state June 15 if vaccine supply remains steady and coronavirus metrics continue to decline. Everyday activities will be allowed and businesses will open with common-sense risk reduction measures, State Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Gawley said. Not a single ocean-going cruise ship has departed with passengers from a U.S. port in the past year. But that's changing. Norwegian Cruise Line announced Tuesday that it's planning its official return to service for late July with sailings in Europe and the Caribbean, but passengers and crew will be required to be 100% vaccinated two weeks before boarding. USA Today is tracking COVID-19 news. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. The class of 2025 entering college this fall could have a new prerequisite, getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Rutgers University in New Jersey and Cornell University in upstate New York were among the first universities to announce that their students would be required to be vaccinated if they wanted to study in person during the fall semester. Brown in Rhode Island, Northeastern in Boston, Nova Southeastern University in Florida and Fort Lewis College in Colorado have all announced similar policies. More schools likely will join the list. It doesn't just make us safer, 